Hey everybody, my name is Blackjack, and welcome back to Spider-Man. Last time we wore one of the suits of some uh, invariable quality. Um, I think it was Spider-Punk. <laughs> we were Spider-Punk, and we were taking care of a bunch of photos. Well, last time, we also bought the wrestling going suit down at the Fist construction from site. Ultimate Spider-Man issue Gotta remember three, to check it out. where he takes on Crusher Hogan um, as the titular wrestler suit. And in doing so, it's actually a pretty one-to-one -one costume. I, I like this one quite a bit. <laughs> uh, that, that's so good. I love that. Um, so, uh, what was I going to say? Boop, 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 boop. Uh, we're going to be continuing on in, into uh, the Midtown one. We're going to start off Midtown, and then we're going to work our way down. We're going to collect every remaining hidden photo, as well as finishing the... Uh, photo retrieval aspect of Cat's Cradle in this video. So if you want to stick around for that, you can. Um, there's not really going to be many story beats. There might be a J. Jonah Jameson audio cast or two, I think, maybe. Not even. Um, in this one, so that's pretty dope. Just know there's going to be very minimal editing. I think I only did one cut uh, in this video, and it's going to still be like 30 minutes. So um, I do enjoy just swinging through the city just so that you guys can get a feel for where this is supposed to be. Again, you can mitigate this by just simply beating the game and then having the the proximity hidden picture thing. Or just finding a guide. Um, there's plenty of them on, on the internet. So, for the first photo, uh, we're going to be heading towards Times Square. Which is dope. Uh, that guy wants my picture, but I'm not going to give it to him. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to be near Times Square. I don't think the first one's actually in Times Square. I believe... It, oh, actually, no. Is this Lockjaw? This might be Lockjaw. Um, let's see. I forget. It should be around here somewhere. I'm not looking for anything that's like particularly interesting. We're going to take a picture of because they're not going to make it just like a billboard. That'd be kind of lame. And nothing's like sparking the, the good old Peter photography instincts. But I know it's around here somewhere. It shouldn't be too, too... Oh, right, it's the clock. That's right. It's this. This is it. Wink. Got it. There we go. That's why I was staring up. I was looking for the clock. <laughs> uh, next up is actually right nearby. Um, it's not too, too far. We're going to just head on over to this side of Midtown. We're going to traverse to the research station that we have already beaten. What a duel. And we're going to swing on down. Yep, just swing on down. And we're going to find a koi fish. And that's why Jonah paid me the big bucks. Alrighty. So next up, we're going to be heading to the north a little bit. Uh, about, let's say, here. Give or take. And we're going to just swing on over yet again from the koi fish down to this big ass building right over here this big white one and then in between uh the big green circular building there should be like a tree or something around here if i'm not mistaken so i'm dumb i'm like ah the tree should be around here where all these other trees are why aren't they where uh because i know it's the tree I think the guy mentions a tree, so I'm like, oh, here's a fucking tree. <laughs> uh, what I failed to realize, uh, you can actually head into the subway, by the way. It's it's how you can fast travel to. Um, I didn't press pause. You, you literally enter the subway and it's a fast travel menu. Uh, but it, it's literally behind me. So if you turn around, uh, old me, come on. Turn it around town. Bring it around town. I'm like, why are these trees? I know it's the street. It's right over here. Uh, in this building to my left hand side, there should be a small opening. Oh, it's the blue one. Sorry, it's not the green one. It's the blue one. And take a picture of the tree within the building. My bad. Not the green one, the blue one. It's like the big glass circular S uh, N C building is what we were looking for. There's a the tree there. <laughs> All right, on to the cr Kratz Cradle. <laughs> Kratz Cadle. Um, <laughs> that was so silly. Uh, we're going to be heading over to the Cat's Cradle uh, mission real quick. Again, we're going to be taking care of all of these for like the remaining uh, amount. So let's just keep him busy. 
But I'm catching up. Let's see where she hit this time. This one is not that easy to find. Remember this one. Um, messing with me a little bit. Uh, it is hey, down here. Next to this open door. Van Lunt's place. She's hitting places full of one-of-a-kind valuables. She must be working for someone. Otherwise, why not just steal cash? I remember that one in my first playthrough took me a long time to find. I was like, where the hell is this cat? Even with like a guide, I couldn't figure it out for some reason. Um, oh, by the way, I now have the electric webs. I could actually do the remaining research station. Um, I just thought I had done it already. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you, I was like totally convinced I had done them all for some reason. I was like, yeah, we're done with the research stations. I don't need them back here. Mr. Again. Bet you're wondering why I'm back in the game. Straight and narrow just got boring. My target number's 50 million. Nice round number, don't you think? But if you catch me before I hit my goal, I'll give it all back and go straight. My future's in your hands, Spider. That's a very big ultimatum. For someone we have very little knowledge on who you are to, Peter. Outside of like already knowing the source material <laughs> of like them dating for a little while was it during the black suit era i actually don't know when the black cat and spider-man uh were dating things i only know black cat because of like exterior mostly video games like uh spider-man 2 she was in um she had a few missions where you were chasing her um, I think she was a character in Rubber Shadows, if I remember correctly. I think she was one of the villains. Not like an intentional villain. She was in this story. Uh, a lot of a lot of heroes, a lot of like Peter's friends or whatever, get like taken over by symbiotes and they get like possessed by the symbiote. Um, so they have like symbiote versions. So she was one of the bosses, if I remember correctly. And um, what else was nice here? And Spectacular Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider fantastic cartoon. If you haven't seen Spectacular Spider-Man, please do. It's so good. Good shot. MoMA? Right? Modern Museum? MoMA? Dope. <laughs> Alright, so, uh... I was totally spaced and I don't even remember what we were talking about before I, before I went Sorry on that podcast tangent. But yeah, I don't know, like, the source material very well. Um in regards to Black Cat. Well, we get to show off the King of the Ring ability. Uh, it just lets you throw enemies without having run pump. And it's the greatest thing ever. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I could do this all day. Just... <laughs> just bullying these guys. <laughs> uh, but it's super duper useful because um, there are... There are... Um, missions that you need to throw a certain amount of people. And if you web up your guy and you throw him, there's a good chance that they're gonna get stuck and like you immobilize them. So if you just use the King of the King of the Ring ability, you could throw them a bunch of times without even having to really worry about knocking too many guys out. It's a very useful ability. Um, I'd give it like B to A tier. I like it quite a bit. I, I think I like it more than I should. I feel like I feel like it's a very like plain ability. But it's just really useful. And it's also really hilarious. I, I, like I said, I could do that all day. Just <laughs> spinning around, throwing people. Great. Oh, it's the rainbow thing. That's cool. how much I love photography. You really it takes a really shitty photo. Uh, Peter, you all right? What the hell are you doing over there? Dude, is your leg okay? Uh, we're going to be going around here. Yeah, that does not look natural. Um, From the, the rainbow art mural graffiti um <laughs> i don't know wait a minute i've been here not like in, in like in real life wait hold on where are we is that stonewall was that stonewall was it i look familiar that looks like that looks like where we end up in pride um at least that's what it looks like i'm not positive i don't know my new york very well but that's kind of what it looks like I don't remember seeing a giant pride flag, but that would make sense if that's Stonewall, like near the area. If if it was uh, Stonewall. Alrighty, from Stonewall, it, Stonewall, <laughs> in quotations. I don't know if that's Stonewall. 
Uh, we're going to be taking a picture of the J. Jonah Jameson Daily Bugle. <laughs> the photo. Uh, next up, down here, we're going to be going to Black Cat one more time. I think we have two more, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, yeah. We're not even halfway done with this video. Holy shit. <laughs> I have already run out of things to talk about. That's phenomenal. Let's go talk about Black Cat again. <laughs> and how little I know of her. <laughs> Felicia's close to her goal. I've got to put an end to this, and fast. This area is full of Wall Street guys. Target rich environment. Could be all of them. Could be none of them. Could be one of them. The options are endless, Pete. Uh, I forgot where this one is. This by me literally glimpsing through this video, like, 11 minutes ago, before I recorded. I think I was like, yeah, this one I remember confusing the show. I mean, I don't see any glimpses, any, like, small glimpse, glimmers. I think I'm looking this one up, and I'm, like, having a hard time finding the actual picture. Okay, there it is. It's around here. Or, no. It's not. How, how am I using a guide and still fucking this up? <laughs> oh, oh, wrong She's orange. She's obviously familiar building. with these places. And that gives me an idea how to catch her. Oh yeah, lay it on me, Petey. What, what do you, what do you got? What, 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 do you, what, do you, what are you cooking there, big boy, huh? <laughs> Come on, Pete. You're, you're keeping it, keeping it all inside, man. You gotta, you gotta let it out. Tell us your plan. Let the audience know. Monologue to me, baby. Monologue. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> so from that Felicia area, there's gonna be a little area that overlooks this dock, and we can take a picture of the ferry. Uh, isn't the ferry? Oh, okay, no, no, okay. So it's the theater. So I remember this. Um, I I ended up going to the wrong theater. Yeah. Um, so I'm like, I, well, there's a theater. Where the fuck is it? If it's not the dock, if it's not the 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 theater, what? Oh, okay. No, this one happens to be the the dock, the pier. Nice. Uh, but there is one that is a theater, and I was like, I know it's around here somewhere, because <laughs> there is one not that far away and I was like okay but I spent way too long Sorry, looking for it so we're gonna head over into that direction but we're act going to end up over here and going down this alleyway um and it's this theater over here uh not the one that I had jumped down but this one right here the Perfect. big awning the building has like a weird U look shape to it if you look on the mini map um so now we're gonna head south and, or I guess a little more west to southwest. And we're gonna head down to the next spot. Um, I think this one may actually be Lockjaw, if I remember correctly. Or it's the ferry. I, I think maybe it's not the ferry. Maybe, maybe I was thinking of the dock again. <laughs> it's been so long, man. I don't really fucking remember. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. It's around here. <laughs> it's this big it's this big art piece. It's right here. Come on, turn around, Pete. There you go. Nice composition if I do say so myself. It's that one. It's that art piece. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Again, if you guys know what any of these are, please me. by all Pardon means me. tell me. Um there was like a theater that had um that had like like a fan had put in um like I think it was a marriage puzzle at the time, and they they put it into the game. But I think they had, after a while, they had patched it out. I'm not sure the exact story. I could probably look it up. But um, yeah, I think that's one of the things that we're gonna be looking for, uh, unless we have already scanned it. Uh, this is the next day. <laughs> My dad got home mid recording, and I in, when he gets home, he makes like a lot of noise. So I just. And like then I annoy him when I'm talking to the mic, so I don't want to like bother him. Um. So yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm I'm totally forgetting what we were doing over here. Like do something. It kind of matches the footage too, where I'm just like, what am I doing? 
Magnifique. Ah, I guess it's this flower thing. Sick. All right, cool. Dope. Oh yeah, we're taking hidden photos. <laughs> oh, fuck me, dude. So Spider-Man drops in like two days as of this recording session, and I am not even halfway done with this playthrough. I don't even think a quarter of the way done. There is 108 parts. Not to Spider-Man 2018, but for the whole thing. DLC and and Morales. Including like the the just the whole thing. Bonus video, the the um, new game plus that I did for Miles Morales. Everything. I did everything. 108 parts. So it's around here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm probably mistaken. But I could have sworn it was one of these statues. Uh, let me just double check my map real quick. Do, do, do. And, and it is over here. Is this the fairy? Or is this the Statue of Liberty? Statue of Liberty. Okay. That's a keeper. Yeah. Told you it was one of the statues. <laughs> May have been one of the important ones. I'm surprised that wasn't a landmark. Like just like a like a general landmark to, to do. Like Empire and Statue of Liberty. I feel like those are like the two big ones that people know. Like tourists know. I'm surprised that wasn't like a landmark that uh, gives you like a landmark token. By the way, these are foes. They don't give Something's you anything. Something's going down at the Fisk construction site. They just, gotta remember they're to just, check it they're out. Just, they're just, they're just here to for you to, to find. Um, once you collect all fifty, you got a suit though. It's an okay suit, but it, it's a suit. Um, nonetheless, so that's why we're doing the hidden photos. Man, look at Pete. Whoop. Um, the. The daily bugles, they don't count for 100%. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Um, I, I don't I don't think I like... I think I mentioned like finding them by accident, but they don't count for 100%. They're just there for like as an extra like thing that you can find. Which I kind of like about this game is like they just have like collectibles just to collect. Like, like oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's not like you gotta like go out your way for it. Alrighty, should be around here. Oh, it's Lockjaw! That's right, this is Lockjaw. Okay, so, um, Lockjaw is an inhuman, and his ability is the ability to teleport. Um, uh, I think he can do long distance fucking I better be more Dude, careful with my King of the Ring is so public. great. Yeah, here he is, Lockjaw. What's up, Lockjaw? <laughs> That's cool. Uh, I didn't know they had a statue of Lockjaw in, in this game until I, uh, did the hidden photos. I did the hidden photos way back when this game came out, and didn't realize that was Lockjaw. I just thought it was like a big bulldog, and I was like, there's no statue of a bulldog there. It wasn't until this playthrough when I actually got close to the statue and realized it was. leading me on a chase, but that's what's going to help me find her. By feeding all the past locations into an algorithm, I can narrow down her likely point of origin. That sounds like triangulation, my friend. Yes, sir. It's got to be like a smart mathematician. It it's is. right over here. I was too late to stop her here. But one or two more locations should give me enough data to pinpoint her hideout. I feel like, now hear me out, I feel like you have more than enough information. Because don't you realistically only need about three to four locations for triangulation? It's a triangle, right? Triangulation? I could have sworn that's the whole point of it. Now, I'm dumb and I probably don't know what I'm talking about. But I'm almost positive. You only need three locations um, to get like the gist of where someone is. I guess the more points, the the more accurate, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, here's a statue. Uh, again, I I don't know what this one is. Uh, I don't know what any of these statues are except for Lockjaw. <laughs> Am I a culture New Yorker? God, no, I'm not. A culture. I am. You can consider me a tourist. I'll show up to things and be like, "Ooh, that's neat," and then go home and cry. <laughs> Wee. God, I love the swing in this game. I love everything about this game. <laughs> I love everything about this game, and I love everything about Miles Morales. The fuck, dude, they're so good. I will say, Miles Morales isn't. Uh, uh, as good a game as this, but I think it's just because of the content. I think it's just too small, and the um, really what what ended up giving what ended up making me give it an eight point five, um, and I'm willing to bump it up to a nine, honestly. Like I really am. But the thing that I didn't like 
a, a, a lot about it was um oh oh uh, yeah there's like a, a little little pizza guy over here um the thing i didn't like about miles morales was was mostly the content like the hours of play time which i kind of get they didn't want to locate too many resources to make like a huge game when they're working on the sequels of Spider-Man. I totally get that. But um it's the fact that they lock behind 100 percentable like requirements behind a uh new game plus. You have to beat the game and then rebeat and then restart the game on new game plus to even collect everything. I think that's just ridiculous. Oh what the hell was that? I saw a shiny thing up there. Oh wait, that that's the camera. Okay. <laughs> I dead ass looked at that and went, wait a minute. And then I looked at the mini map and it was one of the Felicia's things. Oh, I got that. I was like, oh, new collectible. Now I gotta fucking go back and write this down so I can find it. <laughs> no, no, it was it was just the, the, the spawn point for the camera. I was like, I can't believe you could see the the little cats out of the camera thing. That's crazy. I can't believe they've done this. Oh, is this the rhino? I think this one's the rhino. Um, there's a rhino graffiti somewhere around here. I don't know if it's this alleyway or the one that I just passed, but I know it's around here somewhere. I might be even around this corner, honestly. I don't. Or, or it's over here on. Yeah, there it is. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Did I, did I just not see the big fucking rhino? There he is. <laughs> Good shot. That's a pretty cool rhino. Who did that? Who did that art? That's pretty dope. I like that. That's pretty cool. Jump in, jump in, shoot, man. Mega Man. I've been playing Mega Man EXE. I mean, uh, Battle Network. Lately. Yuri was a detective at the Chinatown Police Department when we met. She's really risen fast. And that's what that is. That's the Chinatown Police Department. Um. Other thing? Oh yeah, I was playing Mega Man Battle Network, and I just got through Elect Man for the first time. My god, that puzzle, that dungeon was annoying. Holy shit. And then I had like a mad amount of anxiety because it's like timed. Felicia's close to her goal. And I've still got way too big an area to search. Gotta narrow it down. Every data point helps. Who she robbed, where they live. So I like I was saying. My first Mega Man Battle Network game was uh, Battle Network 3, which I have like a really interesting history with um I, I won't really go into much detail about it now maybe i will if i ever get to the Mega Man battle network series but um, i only bring it up because i like i played uh battle champions also growing up that was like my battle network game it's over there behind the billboard i see it um it's underneath the black cat thing you can kind of see it shining um <laughs> no other way no much come on during during to your right to your uh uh uh, a little more. Uh, hotter, hotter, you're on fire! Oh I think Lonesome Pinky lives here. Stealing from a country singer. She's getting creative. But I'm getting closer. One more ought to do it. <laughs> um, now we're gonna head over to the bridge. So yeah, uh, but my point is is that like Elect Man was one of my favorite characters to unlock in that game. Uh, in the Battle Network game. He had like low HP, but he had a lot of damage really quick. And I really liked him. And honestly, playing the first game <laughs> made that dungeon make me dislike a like man. <laughs> oh, fuck a like man. I still love him though. I still love him. For Mega Man, that was a one, right? He was in the first one. I loved him in, the, in Mega Man 1. He was so fun. I love his power up too in that game. But oh my god, dude. Fucking Battle Network, dog. <laughs> that puzzle's annoying. And I disliked it because it was timed. I had a lot of anxiety about not finishing it. And then, like, when you run out of time, you just could recharge your battery. I was like, what the fuck's the point? <laughs> I busted my ass looking for these fucking batteries. <laughs> Got oh, man. Is it the skate park? I'm just gonna just chuck you, sir. Uh, oh, shit, there's three. Oh, you guys can sit down. Who knew? Oh, that's cool. It's a skate park. I think. That's pretty dope. Is the skate park over there? 
well, guess we're gonna have to go over there, over yonder, and uh, to shred the, the half pipe or whatnot. I can't, I can't skate. Not even Tony Hawk pro skater, bro. You're a play pro skater. I can't fucking, fucking. Master piece. Play that game. Uh, here's a bridge entrance. Uh, I have no idea. It's like an arch or something, and I don't know what the significance of this arch is. Granted, again, we're just scrolling by taking pictures. I'm not sitting down and, like, actually looking at these. We're going to fast travel to this research station. Uh, and it is literally in this little T-section area right over here. I believe it's that statue right there. It is indeed the statue. Good shot. Alrighty. Next up, um, I think we have to go to those those apartment complexes to the right, I think is where one is. It's right next to the... Oh, nope. No, I think I was wrong. It's right next to the cat black. Black cat. Cat black. <laughs> Jack black. <laughs> I don't know why School of Rock... Oh, you know what? I did pass a sign the other day that was called The School of Rock, like a, as a place promoting itself with the moniker of School of Rock. I was going to check it out. I wasn't actually going to like attend 10 classes. It's kind of far away from where I live, but like, regardless. I was like, dude, what? I think it was in White Plains. Oh, it is a movie poster. The first and last day. I think I said earlier in this video that like they wouldn't make it a movie poster. I totally forgot they actually did make it a to uh, movie poster. That's crazy. One more location should give me the data I need to find Black Cat. Should. By my rough estimate, she's got about 49 million in loot. I reach her before she gets to 50 and she might go straight. Uh, bro, she's clearly fucking there it is. You. Oh man, that's the gallery where they keep the Jade Tiger. That's worth a cool million. I've got to run my algorithm and find Felicia quick. Homie says... If I play by her crazy games. Oh, I was right. Yeah, it was in the Found middle of the, the apartment complex. Gotta get there before she leaves town. All right, we'll be taking care of the cat's cradle in the next video. Uh, it's honestly not even that big of a mission. You just show up and call it a day. So that one is the pool. And then last up, I believe, is Leo's Pizza in Chinatown. Uh, remember what Eddie was telling us when we were trying to find our shit in the, in the garbage? Uh, one of the pizza places was Leo's. Leo's in Chinatown. Original Leo's. Or Larry's. Is that Larry's? Fuck. It's over the night. <laughs> Luigi's. <laughs> Linguini's. <laughs> Just start naming the pizza places. 99 cent pizza slice. 14th Street. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a real place. <laughs> yeah, here's Leo's. And just like that, we have accomplished an objective. Oh, can I, can I please? We got the ESU suit, which is kind of lame. Not gonna lie to you. It is literally Peter Parker wearing a mask, and that's it. I'll show it off. But first, uh, let's check out Ultimate Spider-Man's wrestling suit real quick, and then we can uh, compare and contrast a decent suit to a kind of lackluster one. If and I do say so myself. Ta da! Yeah, there's no power associated with this. You just got a t shirt and jeans skin. It's pretty lame. Look at all these other cool suits in comparison. Fantastic Bagman? Come on, that's like the best one. <laughs> the hybrid suit? That's a good one. Advanced armor? Come on, bro. Like, there's a ton of good suits here, and you give me fucking ESU, son? Like, come on. Come on! Give me something with some pizzazz, you know? Reinvent the tricycle, right? Oh, the charge jump! Oh, the charge jump's really good. Uh, if you hold R2 and then press X, you can jump super high. This is something that uh, was in Spider-Man 2. Um, in Spider-Man 2, you can hold the X button to jump, and then you can let go, and Pete will go flying. Well, anyway, guys, I will see y'all in the next one. We'll be doing some side missions. Peace out.